Welcome to another episode of Jeff Smith's Garage. This time we're going to do something a little bit different. Rather than deal with engines and stuff like that, we're going to talk about your car at the drag strip. So let's say you've taken your car to the drag strip and it runs a pass, whatever it does, and you don't have really a, a decent idea of how well that is relative to its speed. Uh, we'll show you how to estimate that and see just how good your car is or isn't. And then we'll also talk about some eighth mile to quarter mile conversions, just to give you some simple numbers. Okay, so before we get into estimating your ET, let's talk a little bit about conversions because it will kind of play into the discussion later. So um, there's a lot more eighth mile tracks out there now than there used to be. So a lot of guys run eighth mile and you'll think, well, how does my eighth mile time and ET and speed relate to quarter mile? So in this case, um, this is a rough number, but it'll get you pretty close. Um, so you take your eighth mile ET and you multiply it times 1.54 and that will give you your quarter mile ET. So in the case of a seven second car on the eighth mile, um, times 1.54 is gonna get my little cheat sheet here, 1078. So that tells me that my car, if I'm running seven flat in the eighth mile, that it's gonna run roughly somewhere in the neighborhood of 1078, probably a little bit slower maybe, but that'll give you a range. So if your car is running 1140s, Something's wrong. So you got a high speed problem there. So, and then for eighth mile, mile per hour to quarter mile, mile per hour, we'll take the eighth mile. So in this case, my car, this was actually my car at the drag strip about a year ago. So, and it ran right at a hundred miles an hour in the eighth mile. So we multiply that times 1.25. That math is easy, 125 miles per hour. Now I have not run my car at the, in the quarter mile, but likely it's probably gonna go somewhere around 122 to 123. It may go 124, so we're close. That way you can see if you've got a high speed problem on the quarter mile and you're running eighth, 100 in the eighth, or you can look at your eighth mile times and relate them to your quarter mile times and see how efficient your car is in the eighth versus the quarter. So there's a lot of different ways you can play with these numbers. All right, so now let's break this thing down into some real numbers here. So what we're gonna talk about is average acceleration. Now cars don't average accelerate. They accelerate really hard on the, at, the, at the beginning of the drag strip, assuming you've got good traction, and then acceleration rate in terms of G-force drops off as the speed comes up. But uh, a friend of mine, Jeff Lee, who is a super stock AMX racer, gave me this very, very simple formula. He's not really sure where it came from, he doesn't remember, but it works, and we've, we've run some numbers and we'll show you how well it works. So you take, for the quarter mile, it also worked for eighth mile, 1320 feet in the quarter mile, divide that by your trap speed. We'll make this really simple, 1320 divided by 100, 13.20 seconds is your ET. So let's, um, and then, uh, so now let's look at Stock Eliminator, a car that we know runs, that he owns the record, right? In, I think it's, B stock in NHRA. So, and this guy owns both ends of the record. So he has a 10.05 at 130, 130.22 miles an hour. So we just take 13.20 divided by 130.22. His idealized number is 10.13 with a seven. He's running 10.05. So what, we're, what, th what that shows you is this is not an optimized uh, uh, set in stone number. He's actually running quicker than that. So, but it will get you close. So a 10th on either side, you know that you're very, very close. If you were, um, so another example would be my car, let's say I've not run my car in the quarter mile, but let's just say that um, it runs 124 miles an hour in the quarter mile divided by 1320 divided by 124, 1064. My car is probably gonna run 1095, 11 flat, something like that. I got a lot of ways to go. So there's ways that you can improve that. Torque converter, stickier tires, deeper gear, things like that, but that will help you. So where can you use this? Anywhere. Go to the drag strip, hanging out, sitting in the stands, you watch a car make a pass, you can take your calculator out of your pocket, or your, your phone, get your calculator out, do some quick math, and you can see how optimized that car is. And you'll quickly find out who the good guys are who are quick and have, have figured it out because they've got that optimized. Average street car is not gonna quite be as fast because you have to compromise it for gear ratio, torque converters, things like that. So, uh, but it gives you an idea of where you're at. Am I way off or am I close? Well, these numbers will give you that. 
So we all like going fast, so these numbers here are just a quick way for you to look at the performance of your car or your buddy's car and find out how ET efficient it is. So if you enjoy this, subscribe, ring the bell, tell your friends to subscribe to Just Miss Garage, and we'll do it again soon.